Hello, here we are with Muki Tenenbaum. We are exploring through these videos his disillusionist philosophy, and in particular the misalgic theory, the theory that explains human behavior as aversion to suffering. And as you know, through these videos for years now, month after month, we've been trying mostly to illustrate these concepts, these rather abstract thoughts, with matters from everyday life, we've even tried to cover the news at some points. We discussed the COVID pandemic in the beginning. We argued around the war in the Ukraine. The thing is, we are trying to find, as it were, situations in everyday life where these concepts apply. So to make them clear, so to play with them as a matter uh, in some way, this week, we are going to address uh, a very frequent instance of daily life, which is the need for revenge, the impulse to get retribution, that not necessarily in the epic proportions that literature and history cover, not, not, not wars like <laughs> the invasion of Troy out of revenge, but simple things, simple facts of life in which we feel the urge to find redress, to, to avenge some sort of suffering, maybe to restore our habits, our usual way of living. So we are going to address revenge from a disillusionist point of view and see what happens. Well, first of all, when we talk about revenge, uh, look, the, the word sounds very big, and, but we mm -hmm. talk about little redress. Who can use the word redress because it, 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 it implies that if somebody, you know, uh, steps on you on the elevator, uh, you want redress. Automatically, we want redress because we are animals. Let me remind everybody that we are animals. And as animals in the pack, if we did not do things to redress, then we probably would be losing our place in the pack. And that means eating less. So probably <laughs> the, the evolutionary, the, the evolutionary uh, impulse is, is, to, is to take revenge. You, you, you try it with a dog, try it with a cat, try it with any animal. Sure. And it will be, yes, some of them will run away, which of course, uh, mm -hmm. that happens also with human beings, yes. But uh, the, the, that dimension of, of, uh, of, uh, of um, uh, revenge is, is in, its, in, its, uh, in its source, animal. That means it's very mm -hmm. automatic. Now, but we are living in a culture. And the first time this has been addressed, uh, in the, in the, as far as we know, is the 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 the, the law of Italian, the Italian law. I don't know how you said it in English. I think it's um, uh, I think it's, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a leg for a leg, uh, arm for an arm, and so forth. It creates the first, um, I would say, framework for proportionality. The first thing you need to stop being an animal, because if you do something, if, if you if you're an animal does something, you may kill him. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the change mm -hmm. will be, from one bite to murder, to not murder, animal to murder, to, to, to kill the animal. Oh. So the first thing you need to be able to help to preserve the peace is proportionality. It is, if it's an eye, it, it's an eye. If it's a tooth, it's a tooth. It is in the second phase in which we have sublimized, made it dif different, ab abstract size, the, the, mm. the concept, and started leaving that mirror image that was that, that was the the basis for what we see. So, uh, you know, to, to everybody when they speak about an eye for an eye, that that's a bad thing. Well, imagine without it. No. <laughs> imagine without having without that rule. So mm. that rule is the beginning of civilization. Civilization mm. begins um, in, in this mm. area in, with that rule, and from then on, the rules become more and more and more sophisticated. So you start outsourcing. Your mm -hmm. revenge, your revenge, mm -hmm. in a, in ways. Again, you don't outsource anything. People outsource it from you. Yes, they, <laughs> you you've been you've been. It's, it's taken away. It's it's a tax. Yes, it's, it's not a contribution. <laughs> You're being taxed. So so they take it away because the 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 the, the more organized revenge is done, the more organized vengeance is 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 take, taking care. The easier is to run. A society, society runs much smoother 
and and, uh, and but we will talk about these things uh, again. What, what do you say, Florence, about all this? Uh, I, I like how you started with the animal situation in which it's basically some sort of disruption, right? It's some sort of tear in the fabric of automatic, well-balanced coexistence. And something goes out of joint. And then, of course, the equilibrium, the homeostasis in the system has to be restored. And that's, I guess, what we see, right? The, I was picturing these situations we've seen in so many documentaries while you were speaking. This animal bites out of turn and the other animal just bites back and bounces and the balance is immediately restored. And I, I feel we are looking at sophistications of that very basic balancing mechanism. But as you say, this comes with a framework, this comes with certain limitations that are already abstractions. And then it comes with the possibility of outsourcing. I, I like that word of putting all the balancing, all the checks in some different power. I, I guess one could argue that's the very beginning of what we call the, the state illusion, right? It's this force upon which these special individuals upon which the retribution is outsourced. Maybe as you said, to make everything work more orderly, but also because one may not want to exercise revenge anymore. For me, it's also a relief there, right? Well, I, I, I feel that when we're talking about exactly about that, when you're thinking, uh, uh, do you really want to take revenge? And, and the yeah. answer is when. It, here is the central, when. When it happens to you or a day after or a week mm. after. Mm. Arabs have a saying, vengeance mm. is, is a dish you eat cold. Mm. Okay? Mm. Again, for what? To, to be able to, to, to do a good vengeance? Probably not. Probably <laughs> to cool you. And then once no. you cool, you think about this. Wait, if that person did, did something to me and then I try to do something to him. Maybe I will not succeed. Mm -hmm. I will become a victim. Mm -hmm. Maybe and maybe and maybe. And, I, and of course, there will be a lot of conversations with yourself saying, well, you know, I have my children. I have to take care of them uh, <laughs> and so forth. So so you, you do have a tendency not to take revenge after mm -hmm. you think about it because you, you're doing the misalgic uh, calculation. That means... You run away, we run away from suffering and you just calculate, is this worth it and this is not. Now the itch, the itch that has to be scratched, the itch mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make revenge, it, 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 it becomes more um, mitigates with the time. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it eludes. So then the state takes over and the state, uh, which does not exist, the state illusion takes over, but everybody now, Believing in that illusion, Florencio, it's, it's an advantage. Because now, oh, somebody is, is going to take. So here begins what I call the outsourcing of vengeance, the outsourcing mm. of revenge. But again, this is not outsourced. Yes, this is somebody took it from you. They talk about the monopoly of violence. The, the state has the mm -hmm. monopoly of mm -hmm. violence. And, and that, that's, about, that's about that. But again, uh, it's not the same. If somebody cuts your hand, yes, uh, the state does not go and cut somebody else's hand. In fact, oh, if you steal, you, they cut your hand in, in Saudi Arabia. Yes. <laughs> there, is, there, is a, there is a cutting of hands, but not because they cut your hand. Of course, in the Arab world, especially in the Arab world, there is a, and, and in the primitive societies in Africa, there is a relationship, it, it's back to the Talion uh, concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you have, the retribution can be done in two ways. Retribution number one is by sending somebody to prison. Okay, so uh -huh. he goes to prison. Retribution number two, which is more, more, also interesting, is with that retribution is done, you get money. Money, you, you get, yeah. and, and you, yeah. you don't even have to go through the criminal system in that case. You just go through the civil system. Again, mm -hmm. to restore the balance. The word they're going to use is, is mm -hmm. justice, but justice is mm -hmm. an abstraction. It means to be just. 
Yes, not, mm. not too much, not too little. Again, all this at the end happens with, uh, at the end of every process, there is a guy with a sandwich, yes? There's a judge, and there is the prosecutor, yeah. the rules, mm. and there are policies and so forth. Let me take you from another side before we go to mm. the next part. Now, vengeance is also a way of leaders to get away with things. If they steal emotions, and vengeance is a good emotion, mm -hmm. they come mm -hmm. and look what they did to our little village. Our village, our village was, was burned to the ground because of that, let's go and burn the cities. And, and then there, there is an inflation of vengeance, yes? Mm -hmm. In which, of course, the inflation means everybody at the end gets stuck. What do you think, Florence? You got me on the translating mechanisms, which I think it's, it's a, a symptom of greater abstraction, right? Not an eye for an eye, but an eye for the penance and suffering that goes with five years imprisonment. Or better still, not an eye for an eye, but an eye for a check that expresses the amount of money that maybe I will not earn now that I lost an eye. <laughs> and some more for uh, the pain and suffering I incurred. So. I see how we are playing with greater and greater levels of abstraction. And as you say, maybe taking away the each and taking away the responsibility involved in direct mirroring personal vengeance. As, as you were speaking, I was thinking that I myself personally, I would hate to have to avenge everything that's bestowed upon me by my own hand. It's good riddance. I, I'm happy that someone else or something else might take care of it. And these feelings that we have discussed several times through these videos came back, the feeling of shame, the feeling of guilt, the feeling of fear. They, they are all a part of this scenario in which my ancestors had to take care of their own revenges, right? <laughs> they could not outsource them. Well, here you talk, you, you talk about three different things. One is fear, fear of what will happen if I will try to take revenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What will happen to me or to my or to my offspring, who could no. be the who could be the bat of the next of the next phase of mm -hmm. revenge? Because mm -hmm. hey, it, it, there is, it is, this is not a, a real calculus, yes? It's not that I did that to him and he understands, so he did it. That doesn't happen. Now there is an inflation in your head and he did it worse and he did it to me on, on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays are very important for me. I mean, I could really find 150 reasons to, mm -hmm. to, to not to be able to understand that balance. So the, mm -hmm. that's, that's one part. The second part is, is, uh, is guilt. Now, mm -hmm. I want to be very clear. People feel guilty for not taking revenge. Mm. I am sure the, the, in Argentina there were thirty thousand people who disappeared mm. during, mm. during the, the what's called the dirty war. Not mm. one case of vengeance. Thirty people, youngster, most of them, murdered, mm. disappeared, thrown to the water. I mean, terrible things done. Not one case of vengeance. One. Mm. How many of those feel guilt, guilty for not doing it? And finally, you have in many societies shame. If, mm -hmm. if because you, first of all, if sometimes things do not get redressed unless you take care of it. Now, shame has two parts of it. It's the shame of not taking care of the stuff that you are supposed you are responsible, and a word that is even higher than shame, honor. Your mm. honor has to be restored. Mm -hmm. Now you have an honor. Now you are supposed to defend something that does not exist. <laughs> And, and, and do something to somebody else, interestingly enough, not something dishonorable. When you don't. take a vengeance on honor, you don't do something dishonorable to him. That you should. It's honor for honor. No. You do, don't. you kill somebody. <laughs> they, so my, my daughter had sex with his son, and I killed his son. It's, it's a, it's, it, and he will see it as retribution. Now, in those societies, there is a, a, a very important uh, uh, role of the arbiter, the leader. We've mm. seen it with, when we talk about guilt in the past. There is a mm. guy that 
is more important than everybody. And they go and they sit and he says, well, you have to do this, you pay him that, end of story. And that liberates everybody mm. from the obligation of going mm. and doing to each other. And again, I go back to the elevator, yes? Uh -huh. somebody, somebody, you know, and, and they, you, you could do two things. You could sulk, you could hit him, or you could just uh, think about Let it. Slide. But think about it, Florencio. This issue of vengeance, now, this is the real vengeance. This is the real revenge. What about the unreal revenge? The revenge that happened in our head. Ah, mm. I will go him, I will make him, I will do this to him. And, I, and, and you do, it's called me, 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 mental revenge. Yes, it, it happens in your mind. Or mm -hmm. there is a second, a second version is to tell it to somebody who is close. I will take him, if I will get him or break him, and you will see. And those two things, Mm. It can be different one from the other because one happens only in your head. Nobody knows what happens in your head. And the other one is maybe just to deter. Because look, if you mm. don't take revenge, other people mm. may think, oh, he's a, he's a patsy. He's a pushover. He's a pushover. So you have several things. And all of the, 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 one, the things we described, Florencio, are sufferings. All of uh, them are not okay. allowing you to, to sleepwalk. Mm. So all... The, this has to do with with uh, with, with misalgia, with the running away from suffering. Absolutely. Well, it's a fascinating topic. We are out of time already because it, it's lots of ground to cover. But speaking about mental vengeance, and even as you said, the one you discussed with your friends, there is this element I think we've been overlooking. We we spoke a lot about the state as an avenger, we spoke a lot about what you would call secular justice, but there's also divine justice. There's also another whole realm of illusions that take care of revenges we will not conduct, we will not ourselves solve, but they are taking care in this imaginary realm God will send them to hell for what they did. I, I don't have to be bothered. You know that in, in, uh, in Judaism, in cases that people were, were murdered uh, by, by, by an evil hand, to call it somehow, mm. uh, they, instead of writing uh, uh, peace, the, uh, rest in peace, it says, Hashem in Kondamo, God will avenge his blood. Will may God avenge his blood? It's written eh, in the in, in, in the head. May, may uh, God avenge his blood. So you have that, and then you have, of course, the 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 the, the new word, karma. Ah, don't worry. What goes around comes around. All that stuff is done so we can continue to sleepwalk, because as long as revenge has not the, the itch has not been addressed, we are going to suffer. And we have to get rid of this either by doing it or by not doing it. But something has to be resolved. Of course, you can, you can always watch Netflix and that's it. And forget about it. That's, that's the whole story altogether. Distraction as a solution to Distraction, yes. yes. Very well. We'll carry on next time. Thank you very much. I Thank you. We've covered. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment, and subscribe.